Okay, we're going to do a five minute painting here, roughly. Let's see, this is going to be uh, Peggy's Cove. Let's uh, get the paper, this is just acid free mat board. We're going to wet the paper a bit. Ta da! Let's see. Sky. Oh, I didn't put any red out. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Whoa! Way more than I wanted. And here's a little uh, uh, burgundy. Okay, here we go. Let's make this thing work. We need some water. Water, water everywhere. And sky. This is um, latex. We're going to use it as watercolor. Okay? Let's just let that tilt a little. Where's my squirt bottle? Look at the nice effect. Okay, now we need, you know, the rocks at Peggy's Cove. We need some uh, rocks. Here are the rocks here. Ta da! You know how the rocks are at Peggy's Cove. So that's where the lighthouse sits. And we're going to put some rocks over here. This is one of my favorite spots at Peggy's Cove. There's rocks here, a little beach down here, and some trees. Okay, I want some more sky here. All right, now, trees. Yes, okay. My nice little rigger. Uh, where are we? There we go. Green. Oh, I should have had... I should have had uh, some... I had some real green, but here, yellow and... Yellow and these trees, yellow and, and uh, blue, the trees in Peggy's Cove are shrubby. Just scrubby little things because the wind blows so hard, the salt doesn't give you nice well-grown trees. They're just scrubby little things. And the rocks, oh yeah, the rocks are awesome. You need to get out there and walk around the, the, this, ah, oh, I forgot my palette knife. All right, well, we have to make do. Here's my make do palette knife, piece of mad board. I just went over and cut it. As you know, I don't draw paint rocks. I just put things in there and then scrape. Lots of rocks at Peggy's Cove. Look at the nice job that does. And for the trees, we'll use the corner. How are we doing here for lining up? Okay, great. We use that. Da, 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 da. See that? And get some of that rock formation in there. That's good. All right. And we want some of that orangey, kelpy stuff along the shoreline there. It gets dark down here. This is just a quick... You know, this is to teach you to let loosen up. Okay? That's what it's all about. There's a palette knife for one. Okay, um, get a few more rocks in here along the shoreline there. Ta da! Whoops, I don't want the. Well, we'll fix that in a minute. And some grass, some growies here. Well, we're going to throw in a little green and yellow and blue and red. Make a little color there, give it a little life. All kinds of growy stuff there. 
and then just make some grass okay this is to teach you to loosen up some people have a hard time loosening up with their paintings they want to but they just can't seem to get around to it so that's what this is all about and we're going to throw a little purple in the rocks Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. And we can add a little white. Ta -da. I'm not worried about which direction the light's coming from here. Uh, it's coming from the right mainly. How do you like that? And we'll throw in a little bit of shadow. And ta -da, a little bit of water. I wonder if that'll make it flow a little. Okay, and now we don't have any waves. Oh, we don't want brown waves, that's for sure. Clean my brush out. A little blue, a little white. Ta -da. Should have put those in before I put the trees in wasn't thinking and then along the shore you get the the, the, the uh, foam from the waves breaking okay and we need a little white cap out there a little bit of the wave action I'm really in the mood to paint. It's getting late. I'm trying to watch the moon come up. So I keep running out to look and see if the moon's coming because this is the big night. The big night for the moon. So there we go. That's kind of rough water. A little more in here. A little splashes coming. And there we go. Now all we need to do is let the Ah, we need a little highlights over here from the rocks. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, now just, I'm gonna go run, check out, see the moon. There we go. Get that hill there in the lighthouse down here. Gonna go check on the moon. Be right back. I'm back. I ran down and got a picture of the moon, and I don't know what happened here, but look at the mess. Anyway, we'll take our... you do a little finger painting, eh? since we're in a hurry here. Ta-da! I don't know what I did there. I messed that up. <coughs> That's what I get for running outside. <coughs> I like using my fingers anyway. Gives you lots of nice effect. Anyway, I got a picture of the, of the worm moon. And my paper all buckled because it does. And we need some spray here. Ta da. You know, oh, look, there's a mess. That's the spray breaking there. There's a mess. Ta da. Get the line in there. Nice thing about your fingers, you can get rid of it in a hurry. Ah, let's have a little wave break in here. This is re really quick. As you can see, ah, look at that nice turquoise in there. I know that's more tropical than maritimes, but ah, we're not worried about that. Okay, now, um, lighthouse. Got to get the lighthouse in there, but we need some dark around the base of the water here. Ah, da -da 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 -da. That's it. That's good enough. Now we're going to put the lighthouse in. Oh, the best part of this is the sky. Look how, how nice that went. And my fingers are all messed up. See? Finger paint. Okay, now, lighthouse. I better get that brush in the water before that becomes a mess. Okay, now, the lighthouse. 
All right, I'm gonna have to move my paint over here. This is just a stiff little brush. Okay, I need to move this out of the way because I'm left-handed, right? I haven't got my head in the way, have I? All right, here we go, the lighthouse. Ta-da! Ta-da! Eight-sided. Piggy's Cove light. Probably the most photographed lighthouse in Canada. And there's the side door right here. A little lighter on this side. And it has a little flare at the top. And a red top. Here we go. Ta da. What am I doing here? There we go. Fingers are in the way. Couldn't see what I was doing. And a little knob on the top. You recognize Peggy's Cove Lighthouse by the shape of the rocks. That's all that matters. And there are three windows on each side. Put the middle one in, ta-da, the bottom one, ta-da, the top one. There we go. I guess this took me a little longer than five minutes. Of course, I got, ran out there to get pictures. Ta-da, uh, ta-da. And a little shadow on the left. Whoa, that's a lot of shadow. A little dark on the roof, on the doorway, the entrance way, doorway. And by the way, oh, what have I done there? Oh, well, we'll just fix that up with a little finger paint, the white. There, get rid of that. There, look at that. A uh, little crooked there. Let's add a little more to this side. Uh, I need to get that brush clean. We can touch this up a little later. There we go. And make this not quite straight. Ta da! There we go. I'll fix that later. And a little shadow over here on the lighthouse. some blue in the rocks and there we go that's good enough throw a little more white and da -da -da, in the spray where the waves hitting and some spray along the edge where it's splashing up against the rocks and stay off the rocks as we all warn you and there we go. Just play, have fun. Lots of action in the water. There we go.
And we need a little bit of um, color in there. That's it. We're going to leave her. Now, do I have a mat that'll finish the show, show it off? There's lots of paint. Look at all the paint I got left over. All right, let's see what we have for a mat. Uh, okay. I like that radiant air. I'm going to put a little more of that down in here. Yeah, it's color. And a little bit of blue in the trees here. And in the rocks. There we go. Still got a white spot there. Let's get rid of that. Their dark spot. There we go. Now let's see if we can find a mat. Since I'm in the framing business, I'll be right back. Like I say, this isn't meant to be a masterpiece. This is meant to help you loosen up. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Tell your friends. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Catch you later.